Hello, cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are very happy to have you. Now, before we get started, I have a favour to ask. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the little bell and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos or when we go live on our channel. It's free. It takes literally a second to do and then you can relax because we'll let you know about new videos and new live shows and you will be amongst the first in the world to watch them and you will never miss out. Okay, let's get started. Don't, don't suffer from Christmas FOMO. Do you know what that is? Fear of missing out. Don't be a victim to Christmas FOMO. Do Christmas your way and be happy. Christmas is just two weeks away. I know. I can feel the pressure building and I can see the stress on people's faces. And this year, Christmas is tough. I think for just about everyone. We all have the cost of living to deal with. Some of you have to find more just to keep the roof over your heads. Money is tight everywhere. But you can still have a wonderful Christmas and own it. You just need to recognise Christmas FOMO, that fear of missing out, and decide what's important to you and what's important to your family and ignore the Joneses. Don't worry about what they're doing and what they're buying and what they have under their Christmas tree. They're doing what's best for their family. And you know what? Chances are, if they're not living the cheapskates way, they are going to still be paying for it this time next year. So you do what's best for your family. Ignore the advertising and the tearjerker ads on TV and social media. And yes, they're lovely to watch, but they are designed to part you from your money. They're designed to create Christmas FOMO and not only part you from your hard-earned money, but part you from more of it than you actually intended by making you think that your family is going to miss out if you don't have a five-course dinner and a seven-foot Christmas tree loaded with decorations and what else? Oh, you know, if you're not surrounded by piles of gaily wrapped presents and a 12-foot blow-up Santa in the front yard. That's what they're meant to do. They're meant to create that want in you, that fear of missing out. So ignore them. Stick to your budget. Go with what you have planned. And if that budget doesn't include spending the money to go to a Christmas pageant, but you love to walk your neighbourhood to look at the lights, do that. You're not missing out. You're doing what you really want to do and doing it within your budget. Do you remember how I always say we choose to ditch the things that aren't important to us so we have the cash to enjoy the things that are? This applies to Christmas too. Now, I'll be honest and say that spending a few hundred dollars to drag the kids around with masses of other people struggling to see the sights does not appeal to me at all. If it does you and you can afford the tickets and have the cash to pay for them, then you go right ahead because that's what you want to do. Have it covered in your budget. The whole idea of living the cheapskates way is to live your life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, the way you want to live it, not the way I want to live mine or your best friend wants to live theirs, but the way you want to live, to have the lifestyle you want. And that includes celebrating Christmas the way it is meaningful for you and your family. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing and worry that you're missing out because chances are they're watching you as you, as you walk your family around the neighbourhood enjoying the lights and each other and they're suffering from Christmas FOMO too. Or they're looking at your Christmas tree decorated in the ornaments the kids have been making since kindy with lots of um, mismatched, wrapped with love presents under the tree, but not much style. <laughs> and they're suffering from Christmas FOMO. They're looking at you 
and they think they're missing out. Christmas will be what you make it. If you choose to suffer Christmas FOMO and it is a choice, you will always be unhappy with what you have and you'll be with the Joneses and still paying for it next time next year. If you stop comparing your Christmas to the Joneses, you might find peace and contentment with what you have and you will truly enjoy your Christmas season. Before I go, thank you so much for watching all the way through. Feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to know if you have other ways to celebrate Christmas below your means. I read every comment and I do my best to answer any questions that you may have. Now, if you know someone who might like this video or who is suffering from Christmas FOMO, please click that share button and send them the link. And lastly, there are three simple things you can do. Like, subscribe and share to help our channel grow and be recognised more easily because the easier it is to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done even in today's crazy mixed up world. I'll be back very, very soon with another Cheapskates Club video showing you how to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. But until then, happy cheapskating everyone and Merry Christmas.